All right, now we're doing 8Q Regex Basics. Is it a digit? This is by Ta, and 84% of the people like it. We're going to implement string hashtag digit question mark, uh, in which should return true if given object is a digit 0 through 9, false if otherwise. All right. So basically, we're making a new uh, method called digit. And we just check if it's a digit or not. Whatever goes in here is a digit or not. All right, so what we're going to have to use first off is this. And the this keyword uh, behaves differently from JavaScript. Anyway, this doesn't tell you too much about it. Uh, and you're going to be hard pressed to find anything related to what exactly we're doing uh, in this one. But that being said, whenever you see something like this, you're automatically going to start with this all right so with this one we're going to say uh, what are we going to do we're going to start off with the regex and uh, we're going to do the test method which ex executes a search for a match between a regular expression and a specified string returning true or false all right so that being said uh, we're going to say we're going to do this we're going to go uh, we make the regex for it, and we're going to look for a digit, but we have to look for just a single digit. So we're going to use one of these assertions, actually two of these assertions. We're going to use the uh, caret assertion, which matches the beginning of input. If uh, the multi-line flag is set to true, it also matches immediately after line break characters, right? So uh, this right here does not match an A, does match does not match the A, but an A, all right? So it's gotta be a single A for this one. And then we're also gonna be using this uh, dollar sign one, which matches the end of the input, all right? And this is just to make sure that it's just a single digit. So we're gonna put the caret here, we're gonna put the dollar sign here, all right? And we're gonna say dot test, and inside the, uh, here's test right here, Inside the syntax, uh, inside the parentheses, we're going to put the string we're testing. And that's going to be this right there. And hopefully this works. Let's see. And it does. Awesome. Attempt it. And there we go. So submit it. And very like this one, my solutions, a lot of people. And it's the best practice in my opinion. And we'll see you next time.